So, the 2014 midterm elections just ended. I have a lot of libertarian friends on Facebook. Quite a few of them being principled non-voters. There were so many posts about principled non-voting that they actually got more annoying than my obnoxious know-it-all voter friends. I don't agree with principled non-voting, and here's why. They'll tell you that you don't actually have a say in the elections, which is true to an extent based on our voting systems, the media, corporations, and corruption, but you know what? You still do have a say, especially when you're not the only person voting for that politician or for that piece of legislation. You are still making a statement. Sure, there are a lot of corrupt politicians, but there are also non-corrupt ones. But they won't get elected. Well, you may be surprised. Also, when did voting become just electing politicians? Last time I checked, there were amendments, initiatives, and all those other names. Yeah, there are more important things you could do on election day than vote. You could buy a cup of coffee from Starbucks. You could get your laundry done. You could have breakfast. You could have lunch. You could have dinner, too. It's not like you could do this stuff on any other day. So, you're making a statement by not voting. Well, you could make a statement by voting. Medical marijuana was almost legalized in Florida. It only missed it by a 2% vote. I'm glad that your principles are more important than the arrest that could have been prevented and for the legal access of medical marijuana for cancer patients and other people in need of this medicine. So, you don't want a government because that is happening very soon? You want the perfect government? So, tell me, how do you plan on achieving that if you don't go through the system? So I have this fun, fun list of certain kinds of voters and non-voters I like from the most to the least. First off, I like educated voters. After that, People who forget to vote. After that, obnoxious, you have to do it too, voters. Principled non voters. And then, non principled voters. Did you know that laws concerning victimless crimes will go away on their own? 